The Division. Yeah, I could just stop the entire intro right there because you know how I feel about this franchise. Now, over the holiday break, I got in as much game time with this game as possible. I hit Legendary after Legendary, all the incursions, some West Side Piers survival, and I even stopped by the Dark Zone for just a bit. It's all still here. I still find matchmaking groups, and as we wait for what's to come for the Division 2, it has been the perfect reminder of what we had with this OG game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Latuna Buzz Lightbeer, and today we are crushing some more legendary missions, this time with randoms. Now, for this one, I broke out the six-piece classified strikers battle gear 6K firearm setup, which is just nasty. Anyways. Thank you for all the continued support. If you like what you see, maybe consider hitting that big, beautiful subscribe button. And while you're at it, take a few seconds more to ring the notifications bell and set your notifications to receive all. Really important on this one, as YouTube will frequently not send you an alert unless you select that all option. You can also find and follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and in my community Discord server. Links to all my socials can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Enjoy the footage and, of course, my live commentary. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off. Dead game, my ass. Look at this. General Assembly, odd time for me. It's kind of late East Coast time in the evening. Hit the matchmaker, found three other people. I don't know these three people. And we're off and running. General Assembly on legendary difficulty. I mean, come on. That's what this game's about, right? And I think right now there's a glitch with the Matrix. I'm not seeing any of my striker stacks build up down below might just be a ui bug or something like that i don't know i have a couple versions of these strikers builds sorry i'm trying to concentrate on this guy on these strikers builds that i run i've actually got a 9k one that i used to run uh, in the dz it takes forever to kind of ramp up but once it's up and going you're basically unkillable this is more like a 6-6 six, six. uh really great for legendary difficulty you see it's just deleting just absolutely liquefying anything I'm shooting at. Whatever you do, Division Agents, don't run to the right with those JTF troops because you will get absolutely liquefied. Made that mistake once. Man, look at the visuals in here. This game still just looks incredible. I ran over to the right once. There's a turret over there that... Ooh, Benny almost died there. There's a turret over there that will absolutely just make Swiss cheese out of you. You live and learn, right? So, Global Event Onslaught. This is, this is such an OP global event, but it's great because every single bullet that you fire has a status effect on it. You don't have to use consumables. Nothing's on a timer. Just reload. You got, you got a new uh, status effect. Look at this. Just the stacks, too. Once this thing hits up close to 100 stacks, it's just vicious. Contrary on this guy. Him. I remember when, man, back in the day, it took forever to drop one of those guys. That's back when our, you know, our gear sets weren't quite as min-maxed as now. Maybe we didn't have six pieces. Nowadays, it's just pure terror. I wouldn't want to blame these L and B just not not to come out. They're like, mm-mm, nope. I'm not going out there today. Let me switch over to this guy. Oop, wrong weapon. Gonna put some rounds on him at least. This guy's in a world of hurt. I used to stand up there in front of the door with the shield, so I don't blame that guy for doing it. Maybe uh, for today's video, 
leave me a comment. What was your favorite legendary difficulty mission in the original, the OG Division game? I'm sure this guy's way over here to the left. Got to be careful with these LMB. They are one-shot melee monsters. Oh, there we go. Anyway, yeah, once again, what was your favorite legendary in this game? So just thinking back over them, you had Amherst, Times Square, Madison Field Hospital. Uh, there's also Napalm, Warren Gate, Grand Central, and I believe this one, General Assembly. What was your favorite? Let me know. And actually, the, the one that I would have loved to have seen actually turn into a legendary mission would have been Russian Consulate. I was so hoping that we, they would give that one the, the legendary treatment. They never did. It was a shame, but... Or maybe that or uh, Lexington. I know Lexington's like kind of tops for a lot of people. Look at this striker's build just deleting things. Let's hit them with the Disrupt. Oh, and they're on fire. I don't know what it is about running outside here. It's always just... It's its hard to explain. The game just pops. Visually, the game just pops. Running outside here. LMB going everywhere. You had the turrets you had to disable. This was never easy either. You had waves of them coming out. They kind of all had their own dispersal patterns. They run every which way. Got a teammate down. Can't have that. Right, let me see if I can climb back over there and get him. Of course, this was the final mission area where we took on Colonel Bliss. Or more so, more so his chopper. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Let me just go get him. Oh, he's already dead. I am so down for a remake of this game. Please. Maybe a remaster and an expansion. Just this this world. This is what attracted me to the division. I was a huge competitive battlefield player, and then one of my buddies was like, dude, you gotta check out the division. And ever since I saw it on the beta, I'm like, yeah, that game. That game pops. It's been hard to pull myself free of it ever since. Hey, whoa, watch out. There he is. Be careful with these guys. Don't hit me. Oof. They have a habit of just running out and then they'll just, they'll be looking one direction and they'll just do a 180 and just give you a forearm shiver and you are down. Oh, they're already shooting me too. Dang, all right. Got to get rid of this box. There we go. Wow, they are focus firing me, aren't they? Right, let's hit them. Six piece classy striker. If you don't have it, you need it. This is a legendary slayer. This D3. Couple of these guys, a D3 player. Maybe you got a reclaimer on your team and you are golden. I gotta commend these three that I'm with here. They they know what they're doing. You know, you go into the matchmaker sometimes, you know, it's like life's like a box of chocolates, right? The Forrest Gum thing. You never know what you're gonna get, but these cats, they know what they're doing. You're watching this video who who here misses the lightweight m4 as an assault rifle or the lvoac i'm getting some weird frame drops here i don't know what's going on Maybe some sort of server issues who knows imagine there's a heck of a lot going on with all these status effects probably overloading the servers oh he's down all right let me see if i can get him here we go hit him with the res look at that fire turret Screams. Love it. Let's make some popcorn. Got him. Can I? Yeah, here we go. 
always find that funny. He drinks to the mask. Ah, yeah. All right, let's get this thing ready. They're going to come out of this door first. Boom, there we go. And we're up and running. And I've got to commend the D3 player here, Spartan. There's there's a, a fine art to running around with D3. You can you can actually hurt your squad running that gear sket, especially if you just you know go crowding at the doorways and you block all the bullets. Oh my God, they're all grouped down here. Right, just the shooting gallery. Uh, Spartan, that's what he's doing. Kind of hang off to the side. Make sure your teammates can get their rounds down range. Don't hog the firing lanes. He knows what he's doing. Oh, back on the pistol. There is no key mapping available uh, through the game, so I can just press one button and it'll swap back and forth between the two primaries. So I actually have it key mapped. I'm still just got to this but I key mapped it so I can switch to my second primary with a side mouse button but then I've got a mouse scroll back to my first primary weapon I wish I could just hotkey them both together something like that where I could just press one button and it would swap back and forth like the game could predict which one you were on and then swap to the next it doesn't do that unfortunately oh there we go sticky you know the Battlefield, um, you know, I guess, guys, I love Battlefield. Battlefield has that ability where you can uh, scroll back and forth just using the scroll wheel. And then there's actually a separate hotkey that you use to go to your third weapon, basically your sidearm. Unfortunately, with the division, ooh, Barrett's, there we go. Uh, it includes it in the rotation. And we're off to do battle. With a Black Hawk helicopter. <laughs> yeah. With a minigun on it, too. Unfortunately, I can't build up stacks versus this thing, so it's just going to be my base damage. But look, we already pulled down one armor bar. I wonder if I can disrupt them. Nah, that did nothing. <laughs> there you try, right? Just keep shooting them. I do like the sound effects, though. They are good. Sorry. No group invites right now, please. We're doing our thing. Pretty soon he's going to start hitting those rockets. I got to be careful. Yep, there they come. We're just going to keep plugging away at this guy. There we go. General Assembly. Colonel Bliss going down. Look at those visuals. 